Hey y'all, looks like summer out here. Fun fact, did y'all know that summer actually does not start for one more whole entire month? Summer does not start until right here, June 21st, summer solstice. Oh my gosh, y'all see these watermelons? Life is sweet, enjoy every bite. I know I will. But also, side note, back in May, this is super adorable too. Love blooms here, enjoy every moment. That's important. You gotta enjoy every single moment while you're enjoying every single bite. It's just a lot of enjoyment happening here. I mean, I mean, you're watching my video, of course you're enjoyed. Enjoy? Does that even make sense? The water is glistening. The sun is shining, and I'm ready for my favorite treat, s'mores. What if y'all don't have a fire pit to roast your s'mores over? Then what do you do? What if you don't have a roasting stick and you don't have a stove with an open flame fire so you can't roast your marshmallows? Well, then you make frozen s'mores. They're so delicious, oh my gosh. I gotta make some more of those, I say it. You know what I think we should do? I think we should keep a tally of how many times I can say s'more in this one video. So far I think I've said it four times. Wow, I really gotta do some more of that. Anyways. To make your s'mores, you're gonna need the following ingredients. Grain crackers. What the heck is this? I was trying to crank it in the perfect spot and then it just ripped off right here. Oh my gosh, I need some more graham crackers. This is crazy. Marshmallows. See if I can catch it in my mouth. That was not even close. Didn't even catch it in my hand. Do I not know how to throw or do I not know how to I'm just dropping them on the floor. I still didn't even get it in my mouth and I literally put it right there. Chocolate chips. What is happening today? Still good. Now that's your typical case of characters for s'more for a s'more, but you know we're gonna spice things up a little bit, so we're also using peanut butter. Peanut butter and chocolate, what a great combo. But that's not it, we're also using, hello, a banana. I thought this was a phone for a second. Do people still use these as phones? Do people ever use these as phones? So our first step is, I know what you're thinking, oh my gosh, they fit these bags. She's no bag, unfortunately. So today, we're just using her friend, Broil. So we're just gonna put Broil on low. What, I turned that off by accident. Broil and I are struggling to know each other, so. Broil is on low. And now, we're gonna get briggity to go. See you soon, Royal. Alrighty, let's get started. So I have my pan here. Wow, see how smooth. I was gonna say, see how smoothly I spin that. Anyway, so we're gonna take our graham crackers and we're gonna place them on here and then line them with our peanut butter and then that's our next tip. So let's do that. Make sure it's all over. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped my cracker. So I already did my top and bottom layer. So right now I'm only making three s'mores and I have peanut butter on the top and the bottom. So now let's put on our marshmallows. So marshmallows, you only need to put on one layer. And then I'm gonna take the other layer off the pan because we're only putting the bottom layer 
in the broil. And I know you're like, Flannery, only five marshmallows? It's because they're gonna expand. That's why. Don't worry, I would never skimp on an ingredient ever. Look how cute that looks. That is so adorable. Now we're gonna slice our banana. I'm slicing it with one hand. And we're just kinda rolling all over the place, but that's okay. And this is way too much banana, but that is also okay. So do not worry about that. It's better to have some more than less. So before we give these things to broil, we want these things, they're called s'mores. We're doing a s'more count, Flannery. You have to say s'more a lot s'more. Okay, so before we give these s'mores to, to broil, I was gonna say 350, oh gosh, those are so much. Anyway, focus. Before we give these to broil, we're gonna make sure that we have everything we need. So we need a wire rake, a plate, and a spoon. That's all we need right now. So. To broil! Well, since broil only needs like a few seconds, let's melt our chocolate because these are mixed dip. So, chocolate melting in three. Because this, I said three. Three, two, one, blast off! So now our chocolate is melted. And I've put our wire rack on top of our plate. We have our bananas in our top layer ready. And we're just waiting for broil. Are y'all seeing this? Are you seeing how perfectly perfect my marshmallows came out? Ah! Okay, we'll see our marshmallows in our other layer in chocolate because I'm so hungry and I cannot wait to eat these. Now let's add a few layers of banana. Probably just like two bananas. And now we add our other layer of peanut buttered cracker. Put it on there nicely. Don't squish it too much because um, you don't want it to break. Just like a little bit of amount. Now it's time for everybody's favorite part. Chocolate. Let's drizzle it on top. Make sure it goes over the edges. Don't worry, I can get some more chocolate if I need to. But we are gonna spread it out. Then just kind of go like this, make sure it goes over the edges. Yo, we are not wasting this chocolate, so we're gonna switch out our plate on the bottom and use the, the chocolate that fell through and add more chocolate, because <laughs> we love some more chocolate. And now we put them in the freezer to see it, but we don't want them in there for too long, so we don't want them like super hard, but we want them to be, the chocolate to be all um, not melted anymore. So into the freezer. And I guess there was a reason I cut too many bananas, because now I get a snake. Mm, bananas and chocolate. Delicious. We all gotta have fruit and chocolates more often. Yo, they're done, and how beautiful do they look? Taste testing time, I've been waiting for this moment. Look at it, it's so perfect and chocolatey. Mm. So good. One more bite for good luck. Mmm, the banana, so delicious. But dare I say, it could use some more chocolate. It is so good. Thank you all so much for joining me this week for frozen s'mores. They were so delicious. They were chocolatey, they were marshmallowy, marshmallowy. They were peanut buttery and what else did I put in there? 
banana e. They were so amazing. And I highly suggest you make them if you are um, gonna be wanting them. Anyway, what was my s'more count? Pretty impressive. I said s'mores so many times. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video so we can get some more love on our channel. And um, I'm gonna go eat some more of these s'mores and then make some more of them. So bye, y'all.